Welcome to another Let's Try of a Steam Next Fest demo. Never Grave the Witch and the Curse. It's a, apparently a roguelite metroidvania. Um, blah blah blah, possess magic. Blah 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 blah. Alright. Supports up to four player multiplayer, not available in the demo. <coughs> Difficulty normal, language, uh, blah blah, okay, fine. Audio setting is fine. Graphical settings, window mode, and 440p, nice. Okay, no, oh, 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 god, oh, that's okay. Only 16 by 9, camera vibration off, that's good. Done, uh, let me move that window again. Controller settings, normal, jump, spell attack, spell attack, tool, heal, left button, flash and withdrawal, heal, left trigger, okay, avoidance, oh, right trigger, avoidance, the trigger, heal, avoidance, so probably I can go in and do the, the normal thing, just a quick remap, um, right grip is... My preference to be jump on the sting controller is right jump. And we do the next one to be dodge, right? Right trigger is avoidance. Right trigger to the left back grip to go to dodge. I know what this this is. Let's not mess with it. It's a decent amount of things for a demo and for that. So what is this? I'm not the best or in most roguelite fans. I prefer some element of roguelite, but more of the fixed level type. Um, so depending on what this game is going to be... Like, I want my... The most important for me is I like X level so I can get my bearings. Then you can add in roguelite elements like uh, that you can uh, have to do the levels again to level up and stuff like that. So. <laughs> right, so we have a dash and a jump. Attack. No air dash. Uh, fine, music and everything here. All the level seems to be pretty decent. Whoop. Oh, says okay. Right. Reasonably fine graphic style. It seems to be following uh, a trend, uh, almost, a little bit of the, uh, like, what was that? The, the Biomorph and the Hollow Knight kind of drawn style of things with a little bit of a, okay, you have a ledge grab, no WM. And this kind of lightning up around your character thing and that you are in like a submerged settings. Pretty standard. Think so. Oh, okay. Huh. How does that work? I'm not sure. Do while jumping to reach higher. Okay, so the previous one does seem like I can. Okay, I'm not exactly sure about the. Okay, no pogo sticking, no upward slash, no short slash. No knockback. You have currency. Oh god, okay. That's uh that's some that's some things going on here. Ooh. Jeez. 
some crafting it looks like it might be. We have a map. Zoom in, zoom out. Right? Map that shows a little bit of, of how it looks, not just this square room things, that's nice. You get a little bit more and it looks like you can explore more upwards on that area. It's also different colors here, it looks like it might be I can go up in that area. Not sure why there's different... Different colors there, but alright. Build, can of the build here, holy crap, okay, so you can create your own base kind of things, so, alright. Oh, right, I need to change this. Wish I could change the, the fourth layout of the Steam controller here in the new Steam UI, maybe I can. I'm just afraid to mess with this UI because it is not good at all. Increase your maximum HP the life. Effect disappears upon leaving the dungeon. Okay. That's uh, a temporary buff. Oh. Oh, what is this? You're a beautiful lover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is that not auto pick up? Oh, oh. So you cannot... You have to be in this mode to climb. Uh, oh, 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 I could just destroy that, okay. Is, there is a crouch. It seems like when you attack you stand up. Is there no crouch? Nice little interaction of the that one. Increase your maximum HP. Yes, I get more HP. Whoa, whoa, cool. Ah, uh, yes, it's pretty charming. Um, it's uh, quite interesting what I see. Uh, I don't. I'm afraid it's probably not gonna be game for me personally because building uh, probably not and then we have what seems like might be um, or maybe crafting stuff and then you have a bit of roguelite element on top of it uh, <laughs> So those goes away. How do I... Okay, so that's how you get out. And that's how you get out. Interesting. I need to... Money. I need to get used to... we All of this. Uh, so when you're in the hat, you only have one thing to kind of... To do like to possess things. Okay. Oh 
control seems uh, pretty fine here. Some interesting suit for making furniture. Furniture, alright. Yeah, it seems like an interesting game. I, I'm just a little bit, you know, not to worry, but I'm feeling that it probably might not be. Probably not gonna be a game that I'm digging into with all of the combination of the, <laughs> the elements, but it seems like it might be very, whoa, very interesting if you like this kind of roguelite and base building stuff. It probably might be quite interesting. But we'll see how it's gonna. Oops. It's gonna progress when I play through this demo. I might change my. Hmm. Ooh, might change my mind. That uh, really. Like, was not ready for that. Oh! Oh, I do have a dodge. And dead. Wow! Let's see what this happens. What that means. What the death means. We are revived. Where am I? Don't know what that's right. Let's let's check the other side. Okay, this is one that we are supposed to talk to. Okay, so we got the potion. You can enter the ruins first layer to your right. What, what punishment I get for that dying here. Spirit shot, fire straight match, bullet, alright. Do I lose my curiosity? No, I don't know what I lose by dying here. Increase. Wait, okay. So is this um uh wait a minute. Save, lost, save, give up for a time to or play time. Lost save one minute ago, okay. Automatic save I'm guessing. Map. So this looks like it is a new map, so are these procedural generator or what is going on here? Or am I just entering a different place? Because again, I really like fixed map. That's like <laughs> one of the things that's just that I really enjoy. I really enjoy fixed map so I can get to just Memorize the layout, get my bearings and stuff like that. Oof. So 
So how do I use... That one. Wait, what? Small body with some red blah blah blah. Green kit require recover for tape. Hey, Patreon will be used at full HP. So how do I utilize this? How do I don't know how to use this? Okay, so I have something. Oh, there we go. Left trigger. Thank you. Okay, I did miss that one. My bad. Oof. Gonna check the UI. Oh, you son of a... Okay, so it seems definitely have... bit of those bro rough <laughs> more of a rougher rollage element that the game it likes to kill you off a little bit extra okay so here we have something About to die here again. Um. some healing here all right and uh, I pressed dodge but it didn't happen it seems interesting it's just uh, I don't think we, we don't think this is really gonna be a game for me personally but it seems really interesting if you're into this kind of game play uh, where is the village then I guess I can spend my money for permanent upgrades. On the botanic garden, go to the institute. Ooh. Where the frick is the village? He did tell me, I just don't remember. Oh, this. Okay. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> right. So here he... Oh, this is where you... So here we can maybe rebuild stuff to get better shops and things like that. Okay. Okay. Could be interesting. Hmm. Go to charge. Move the rubble. Oh, all right. see if this is gonna be the building part of the game could be interesting I, th I do you know even if this isn't game mechanics that uh, that's I'm really deep into I do feel it feels like a nice interesting game here do 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 I guess we have to like 
edit mode. What? How do I? Right trigger. Oh. Found you to list. All right, so. Left button. Okay. Edit mode. I guess I don't have anything, so I can't do anything yet. Alright. Open the menu, select build. Right. Okay, so this is where I cannot place it, not place it. Built a soil block, okay. So what is this? What is the soil block? Is that a wall or...? build something to do stuff here okay interesting building thing um, still have a lot of cures so we get to keep that status we have one of those those are reset okay so i have no permanent buffs yet it does seem like it's the same dungeon so i like that might be a little bit different here right hmm Just a starting point, I guess, that looks a little bit familiar. I wonder if the if the boss is gonna be the same. Recover blah 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 ten MP up and taking damage. Oil and then a combo attack hit. Quick race for all moves increased. Why not try that? So it looks like it is uh, a little bit of a different dungeon here. I still have a, a, like, a little bit of a familiar feel, but it does look a little bit different.
Well, I'm about to almost die again here, it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would have get it, gotten into this more. Okay, so here we have a... If I had a little bit more of uh, like the same dungeons type. So I could like familiarize myself with the dungeon and learn uh, the enemy placement and stuff like that. Yoink, okay. Definitely something I really enjoy is uh, just familiar layouts. Thank you game, that was really kind of you. Lovely graphic. Control so far feels pretty nice. Seems like you can't dodge until your attack animation is done. Which uh, I, I am more of a let the let the dodge interrupt uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> I'm guessing this is my tier that I might be able to use to, to do the building stuff. Which seems like an interesting idea that you can build like the home there and just, I'm guessing maybe get permanent upgrades like that. Right, gotta utilize the dodge a little bit more. Uh, some way of uh, heal more here. Bum, bum, bum. Only one healing, and you take quite a lot of damage, is quite interesting. Right? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oops, those are exploding. I'm about to die again. It does seem very difficult to get HP back. Like some way to get HP back would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, just a smidge more HP. I don't know what I what I'm missing. Maybe this is just part of the charm that it's it is supposed to be this brutal until you start getting permanent upgrades. Uh That's fine, but again, it's uh, not my... My style. Yeah, I think uh, probably a good amount for me to try. Uh, all, all the kind of rogue lights is really not what I favor in games. Um... Oil block. 
one. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. Open a menu, select build facilities and build a research facility. Right, so we have to unlock those. So I can only build stuff like that here. Says workbench for employee of user requirement free. Bells. Floating sword. Okay. Summon one magical sword. Okay, so we have unlocked that. So now I can find. Okay. Unlocks the combat upgrade tree. Only one can be built. Oops. Uh, a new blueprint. We have combat. Okay. Build a combat momentum. Yeah. So only one at a time can be done. We have to unlock this one right Oh, so I can only do one of this one, not both, maybe. Oh, we'll see. Alright. Yes, I don't have the materials for this. Okay. Let's try this one more time here, then I'm gonna be happy to move on. Right, so we, you can find the floating sword. Summons one mega sword. Right. Okay, so it is. Oh. Seems like it is different layouts here every time. Uh, again, it's fine, it's just it's not my personal liking of a playstyle. I 
prefer really like fixed uh, dungeons myself. And it's nothing against the game or anything. Unlocked a portal. Uh, I do like, you know, everything else, the movement, upgrades, and everything. It seems like it has uh, some interest if you don't mind. Mind games like this. Seems very interesting. Trying to be a bit more careful when I'm going going through here. Well, that didn't work well. Whoa! Well. my healing on the only thing that on me personally is that I like would like the dodge to override uh, yeah, there we go to override the attack so that I can just quickly more quickly as dodge whoa whoa right right you can look around I forgot that No knockback when you hit stuff. Yeah, okay, so, so there is the dungeon is different every time, like Oh, you can Does the map say... Would like a nice quick way to open a map. Does the map say anything about the boss or anything? I'm thinking that the boss probably is... The same every time. Increase maximum capacity of potion. Oh my god. Ooh. Medic! Medic! <laughs> That's what I needed. Is, is this just... Um, it, this might be a permanent. That's a good thing, though. Again, it, it's the it's the charm of the roguelike. We like the portal. It like everything seems good about this game. I, I like obviously since I'm not the biggest into this genre of the roguelike, I can't give full full opinions anything. But I do like feel it feels very nice. Even, you know, for someone that doesn't, doesn't really dig into games like this, it feels really nice. Right, we are a lot more powerful, that's nice. All the like the building there and upgrade, it seems like it's uh, interesting. Acquire skill. Okay, so now we have two skills. Can I swap place with them? No, that would have been nice to be able to swap them around. Maybe you can in some way. You cannot to go and blah blah blah. Oh, alright, yeah, full HP, okay. 
If I was not full HP, I could have used that. Would be nice if there was a save point before a, a boss. Something, maybe. I don't know. So when you pick up stuff, you get stuck a little bit. Uh, which was oh, quite... Oh, you can grab ledges uh, like that. Yeah, I need to... Oh. Be a little bit more careful. Short level three. So what level do I have now? Level one. Okay, so you can here you can replace a new spirit shot. Now I have level three. All right, yeah. So a save point is this. What is this? Black humor, blah blah. Mm -hmm. Okay, restock potions. That's nice. I'm guessing we might get to keep the blueprints. I did not see that enemy. We have a wall point. Doesn't seem like oops. Like I can go that way. It's this okay, so that's death. Might need to open that or it might be permanently blocked. Thank you. 
Right, let's have a... Okay. Um, what was it that I got? Floating sword, level 4. Uh, level 2. Two. Oh, right. That's what I, That's all right. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to. Don't need to get out. I won't use my. Oh, that's a different one. Give a blessing. I see, I see. So, one thing I'm a little bit curious is if I do that. Because so I get back to this. Uh huh, okay. Right. I want to give this a really solid try, so... Uh, I'm soon coming up to one hour, that is my normal testing anyways. So it's been an interesting game, but again, it's just... Uh, I don't know, I, I've never been able to really... ...begin to all too much roguelite elements. And the, the biggest problem is, for me, definitely is that I really like solid levels that I can memorize or get to know landmark and stuff like that. Maybe this character could uh, break the door. So maybe I'm supposed to... Uh oh. Well, I guess I can't take this one with me. I can do that. I like that you can jump up. Uh, up that way. Um, question is, where can I go now? I was thinking that maybe if I was the dog, I could have uh, rushed that the part I was in previously. The door kind of blocking thing. So losing HP by going there. I'm guessing I'm gonna lose HP if I go here also. It does look like it. Like, looks like you might be able to get up top later on. So what am I supposed to do now? I 
been down here. Yeah, I was thinking I needed to be the dog there to break that. Thing is... There is no doggo left. That's just the shop. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Door is open. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. have any more healing or anything left here. Whoop. So you could destroy that. Not sure what good that they did. Go to ruin second layer. Oh. in music here. What is this? Is this a uh, candy? And restock potions. Turn to the shards, and I'm guessing this is is the boss again. Right, it is. Oh, so you have to dodge both of them. Okay, so that's... Whoa. That is a little HP that that boss has taken. So it is contact damage. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah. Let's let's do. There we go. For me, that's that's all right. So never grave. Two um, D Metrovania row lights game. Like the graphic, like the the, the like the music here and everything. It is hard to tell anything about the story wise so far, but might be fine. Uh, controls overall are interesting with the possession and uh, attack and uh, the different spells. The biggest thing there for me was uh, the dodge. Uh, it seems like that you have to wait didn't really fit in and some of the contact damage on the boss there was a little bit weird. Because the enemies I don't feel had contact damage and then this boss had contact damage so uh, I don't know. Overall, it seems interesting, so, you know, if you like the Roguelike 2D style of game, give this a go and check it out yourself. It's not my type of gameplays, but it seems really fun and fine. 
and it's it's fun to try different things you may might never know when you encounter something that even if it isn't your main genre might still grab you so worthwhile to test even if it if it, even if it might not seem like the main game that you play it doesn't hurt nice to have a nice little demo it seems stable and good and decent options so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for more let's try let's plays you can Leave a comment and like if you want to do that. Check back or follow the channel if you don't want to miss stuff. And if nothing else, have a great day and bye for now.